in just about 17 hours or so, Buffalo's favorite band has a performance for you to help bring in the new year. The Goo Goo Dolls taking part in Buffalo's virtual ball drop. And new this morning, I sat down with Robbie Takek to talk about that performance and what's ahead for the Goo Goo Dolls come 2021. When you look back at 2020, what is going to be the main thing that sticks out in your mind? What are you going to remember from this year? Uh, this little back room in my house that I was never in uh, until 2020. And uh, it seems I've spent most of my uh, life in. No, I mean, uh, it's, it's been a crazy year for us. You know, um, uh, this is the first year in, uh, you know, my adult life that I've been home for a summer because we either tour here in the States or overseas for the summer. But I guess the silver lining to that was it's also the first year I've got to spend a summer with my family. And, um, you know, Johnny's, uh, um, you know, Johnny, my partner's uh, love for Christmas uh, sort of bloomed into something that, that, that uh, you know, was really cool for us this holiday season as well with our holiday album. Yeah, were plans for that holiday album in the works or did that kind of materialize after the whole 2020 couldn't tour? Did that move into Let's Do a Christmas album? Yeah, we, uh, during the last summer tour that we were doing, we were preparing a couple of songs, which turned into three, four songs, which turned into seven, uh, you know, ten songs. Yeah, and, uh, you know, now, you know, a Christmas album. We get a virtual performance on New Year's Eve right here on Channel 7. So tell people what they should look forward to when they're watching that performance this, this New Year's Eve. Oh, we'll have a couple of classic rock and roll Goo Goo Dolls songs for you. You know, this whole experience for us this holiday, we've actually gotten to be part of people's holidays and, you know, people's routine. It's, you know, it's been, it's been strange people stuck in their houses like this, but, you know, through, you know, this crazy series of events, you know, we've ended up in people's living rooms with them, you know, quite often this season. So, uh, you know, we uh, appreciate you guys giving us one more chance to, you know, share what we do with people. Oh, well, everybody's looking forward to it for sure. It's going to be so different not having that Buffalo ball drop with all those thousands of people downtown that night. Yeah, I'm planning on jumping off my roof that night, so I hope there's a lot of snow. <laughs> you got to do something to celebrate, right? Yeah, got it. <laughs> so let's just end with a message to Western New York for 2021. What would you like Western New Yorkers to know as we head into this new year? Oh, you know, man, uh, 2021 is uh, is uh, an extension of 2020, so there's going to be some challenges, but, you know, for sure, we're on our way up. Um, you know, things are looking better, and uh, so, you know, keep at it, man. That's all I say. Just keep at it, and uh, let's get back to normal again, and uh, let's have a great 2021.